What is and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, Mega Crasher is here, and I want to present you guys with a real quick video on this right here. This is huge, ladies and gentlemen. Aegislash is now banned from OU. Already, it hasn't even been two weeks since 7th generation has released the Pokemon officially, as well as the game officially, but Aegislash already has been banned. And the thing of it is, is that there was no suspect test, it was a quick ban, outright quick ban. Now, the thing here is that I am actually quite shocked with this outcome right here, like already, I honestly was not expecting this. I mean, from my own personal experience, and you know, feel free to agree or disagree, you know, not gonna bash you guys if you disagree with me, just, you know, the only thing I ask is that, you know, you at least try to uh, respect and, uh, you know, appreciate where I'm trying to come from, and I will very easily uh, and humbly respect your guys' opinion and where you guys are coming from, because this video is more or less meant to start up a discussion of sorts when it comes to this matter right here. Now, Aegislash is a very, very complex Pokemon. It is so complex. I mean, this has got to be one of the most uh, mechanical kind of Pokemon ever because this thing has really, really unique mechanics in the use of the combination of, of uh, King Shield as well as Stance Change. Now, because of the combination of those two uh, things right there, uh, uh, King Shield being a move and Stance Change being an ability, this Pokemon is effectively granted a base stat total, okay, of 720. That right there is on par and the same as Arceus. And Arceus is an uber, so that right there just kind of gives you a little bit of a perspective when it comes to Aegislash and its gargantuan base stat total already. Even though it reads its base stat total is 520, what happens when it's in blade form is that its defensive stats, which are both 150 apiece, get swapped into its offensive stats, which are both at 150 apiece in blade form. But then it can very easily go back into King's, uh, into shield form by using King's shield. And although that move does not protect you from any status conditions or taunt or whatever, the thing is, is that if any Pokemon was to make contact with you, even if the move is ineffective by type, okay, if the move fails to land, you have your attack dropped by two stages, which is pretty damn crazy. Now, with this situation right here, Age Slash is a very, very crazy Pokemon, and I gotta say, honestly, that I can see where Smogon's coming from here. I mean, I did have a chance to read this article somewhat. Um, I'm still a little bit hazy on some of the stuff that they said. I mean, it's kind of like, it's kind of like an agree and disagree kind of thing. I'm, I'm like, literally 50-50 here because, you know, I agree with where they're coming from, but at the same time, it's like, I disagree. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I did not think that Aegislash warranted a ban already, okay? It didn't even get a suspect test, and we're in Generation 7 with a whole new slew of threats to deal with in Smogon OU, okay? So, this right here is just, it's, it's, it's honestly game-breaking, to be quite honest with you. It's mind-boggling, because Aegislash is effectively one of the best check-slash-counters to the majority of the tier, uh, you know, just flat out by its typing and its stats and stuff like that. I mean, you got Pokemon like Faramosa that just gets completely walled by this thing. Uh, other Pokemon such as Cortana, unless, of course, it carries Night Slash, but even still, it's like... It's not really a good matchup against Aegislash, you know? You also got Pokemon like Buzzwool, Pokemon like uh, Mega Gardevoir, like uh, Metagross, or Mega Metagross, sorry, uh, that all uh, get checked effectively by Aegislash just by its presence and presence alone. Now, I will say this, and this right here might in fact be uh, one of those points that, you know, you guys might end up disagreeing with, but just check me out, okay? Check me out. So, I personally don't have any trouble, like any major troubles in the small, uh, in the short but uh, somewhat effective duration of Age of Slash being an OU, I did not have much trouble with that at all, okay? I've had plenty of battles to be able to muster up enough experience to have a say, uh, and to say this is that 
Age Slash was not really that much trouble for me. I've had battles where I was able to, you know, just effectively play around uh, Age of Slash, who was facing off against me, and I was able to beat it and also win me the battle. You know, there's been times where I've beaten teams with Age of Slash, there's times where I've got beaten by Age of Slash, and there's other times where, you know, Age of Slash has failed to work for me. It's all about how you use the Pokemon, okay? It's literally 50-50, okay? It is a coin toss. And... You know what, even though if it's a, you know, kind of like an old argument that's been used originally uh, for people who uh, wanted Age of Slash banned, you know, it's not it's not an illegitimate argument because it, it's the truth. Because it's like, this right here does in fact force 50-50. Uh, because it's like, you're playing mind games with, with your opponent, right? You're playing mind games. You know, you like, say if you're facing off against something like, well, they, uh, they illustrate an example down here somewhere. Um... Let's see, uh, huh, where do they have this at? Uh, well, anyways, uh, they, they said somewhere along the lines of, like, uh, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, uh, it's all about predictions, okay? So say if you're against a Pokemon like Weavile, which, you know, uh, type advantages, uh, are in the favor of Weavile because of the fact that it's strong against, uh, Age of Slash's ghost typing because of its, uh, dark typing, so... Um, what would happen here is that this right here is where the conflict begins. It's 50-50, because, uh, what could happen is that if you were to predict Weavile to attack you, you could go for King Shield and drop its attack stat by two stages and then, uh, proceed to knock it out the next turn with either a Fighting-type move or a Steel-type move. Um, but if the opponent was to predict a King Shield, uh, and they take the opportunity to set up a Sword Stance and knock you out the next turn, then that right there is where the other side of the coin uh, falls in favor of the opponent against Aegis Slash, right? So, you know, overall, I'm just, I'm, I'm like, I'm really, like, torn, you know? It's like, I didn't want this to happen because I personally enjoyed using Aegis Slash, and I personally did not have any trouble uh, you know, majorly, I should say, against, uh, facing off against Age Slash, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, like, holy shit, like, this, this is, this is already the second ban of, uh, Smogon OU. The first ban came in the form of Zygarde Complete, I think. I mean, I didn't even have a chance to use Zygarde Complete, which really, really sucked. I mean, wow. <laughs> I was, I was looking forward to using the Gundam Incarnate version of, uh, like, a Pokemon kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? Because it looks like a Gundam, okay? It looks like a fucking Gundam soldier slash, like, Transformer, whatever you want to call it. Um, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that right there is going to, uh, conclude this video. I mean, I really don't know what else I can say at this point. Uh, but also, uh, actually, before I leave you guys in this video, I just want to say that this right here is sort of like my, um, my pre-discussion, uh, sort of video. Um, in a way, because uh, the next video that you're going to be seeing is going to be featuring my character that I play, um, and I'm going to be using my mega, my character's heal persona to, like, in the video to hype up uh, your guys' reactions and also hype up the entertainment and the energy value within that video. Uh, so... What I want to say to you guys is please take that video with a pinch of salt. It's really just meant to be hilarious and meant to be funny and maybe a little bit cringy too because I, I do get kind of pissed off here in that video. Um, like I made it ahead of time before making this video. So it's kind of weird how I decide to make this video uh, after that video but yet upload this video first. But, hey, like, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a fair warning, and also make a pre-video disclaimer in that video, too. So that way you guys are, like, I don't know, quadruple sure that, uh, that the video that I'm talking about is meant to be a joke, okay? Even if it is at the expense of Smogon, I mean, I've had some of you guys that come across uh, my videos where... Uh, where I joke, more or less, where I make, uh, parody, uh, skits of me getting pissed off, uh, overly pissed off, I should say, my character anyways, um, you guys have found enjoyment in that video, and that's something I really appreciate, you know what I'm saying? So, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's really all I have to say, so thank you guys very much for watching. I love each and every single one of you guys. Be sure to let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Uh, this, uh, thread will be in the comment section down below also. So, take care, guys, and I'll see you guys next upload.